So do you use Elementor or Elementor Pro? Do you create templates and use those in multiple projects? Well, today I'm going to show you a free service that helps you make that whole process considerably easier, especially when it comes to downloading and using those in future designs. If this interests you, stick around and I'm going to take you through the entire process of setting up an account and how we can activate this and start using it to speed up our design process. So let me kick this video off by saying that I can't take credit for finding this particular service. This is something that I came across when browsing the Elementor Facebook group. So a big thank you to Steve Woody for pointing this out and sharing it. I think this is something we could all definitely benefit from. And also to Sujay from Brainstorm Force for actually being instrumental in developing this service. A big shout out to those two guys for creating and sharing great resources. Well, my name is Paul C. This is WP Touch, the channel where I help you create beautiful WordPress websites. If this is your first time on the channel, please consider subscribing and smashing that bell icon below to become part of the WP crew and be notified every time new content is added. Okay, so WPTemplate.com, the link will be in the description below so you can check it out. Currently, this is completely free. They may revise that in the future. Right now, like I say, this is a free service. So let's just jump in and take a look at what we need to do. So the first thing we need to do is grab ourselves some free access. So let's just go through, click on get free access. That'll then ask us to input some information. I'll go ahead and fill all that out to create my account and then simply click on free download and that'll create the account for us. So with that done, we can just simply click on download plugin, let that download and we're then ready to install that into WordPress. So let's just go ahead and do that. So just jump over to my dashboard and we're gonna just install this plugin. So we'll say upload, we'll drop the WP template to file on there and let that go ahead and install. We just say we're gonna activate that plugin and once we've done that, we are then pretty much set to go through and link this through to our WP Templator account. So once that's installed and activated, you can see we've now got a new entry in our plugin section and we've got the option to activate our API. Click on that. You see it now asks us for the API key. So all we need to do is just jump back into our account and you can see that we can come up to the account. We can go down to our API keys. And once we're in there, there's our API key. We can simply copy that from there and then we'll just drop that into the plugin and activate that and providing everything is okay that will now link that through to our account and you can see we are now successfully activated so we've now linked through our template account through to our wordpress website so every time you want to access the template function inside wordpress you simply need to install that plugin put your api key in and then you'll have access to all of the different templates you store in the cloud through wptemplate.com now that we've got the WPTemplate.com website linked through to our WordPress website, we're now ready to go ahead and save out our first template. This is super easy. All we need to do is to come into the template section of Elementor. We can then go through to either saved templates or theme builder, depending upon what version of Elementor you're running. So we'll come into saved templates to start off with. Once you've done that, we've got a couple of new options available. At the, port, the top, you'll see we've got import from cloud. We also have when we mouse over any of our current templates is export to templater. So let's do that first of all. Let's take a look at how we can export this template over to our templater account. Click on export to templater. You can see it says enter a category. So we're going to call this one header. We can also save and create a screenshot that we want to use to associate with this. So if you are creating a lot of templates, it would make a lot of sense to screen grab the template when it's in your design save that out in photoshop and then upload that alongside your template i've not gone ahead and done that because it's something that i'm just testing this out to show you but we'll say we'll just set an image to this we'll say i'm going to use this particular image and we'll click on select so we now have that screenshot associated with this we've also got a category associated with it as well if we click on export that will go through the process now of exporting all the relevant files and information for our particular template so there we go. We can see we get a little message saying we've started the exporting the template in the background. It will take a few moments to complete the process and you can close this pop up and resume working. So once you've gone through the process of saving your template, all you need to do is go over to the WPTemplator.com website, log in, come through to your account section in the top right hand side and then come down and say manage templates. That's going to show you any of the usernames that are associated with your account. So we can just log into mine. That'll open up a new tab and you can see we now have our 5050 header in there, which is the one we just saved out. So this is now my location for all of my files, all of my template files up on wptemplate.com. So you can see if we want, we can view this 
and we can take a look and as you can see it'll show us now obviously it doesn't look the greatest because it's showing it in a default page which isn't necessarily what we want but you can see that we've now got that template uploaded so now we can go and call that up from anywhere else we put this particular plugin the WP templater plugin so let's take a look at how easy it is to add that into a site now so I've jumped over into a different WordPress website I've got it in the plugin section and we need to do the same thing as we did the first time. We need to install that plugin, connect our API, and then we can start accessing the different templates we've got saved as part of WP Templater. Now I've already gone ahead and done that for speed on this. It's already been covered at the beginning of the video anyway. So once we've done that, we connect our API key and everything. All we need to do is come over to the template section. Now, again, we've got two versions of this. We've got the save templates, which can be used with the free version of Elementor. So we can use things like pages and sections or the theme builder, which relates to things like our headers and so on. Because the 50-50 is in the save templates, we're going to go into save templates again to make sure that we'll see it. As you can see, template isn't actually showing at the moment. So all we need to do is come into import from cloud because we've connected our API and we have that plugin set up, you can see that now connects straight through to our account on WP Templater, and this will display any of the templates we've saved. Now at the moment, it's not showing the graphic that I associated with this particular template, but that's probably because it needs to sort of process that in the background, so don't worry about that. But what you can see is at the moment, it tells us we've got one template, we can then go through and filter them based upon any of the title sections we put in. So you can see we've got all, which will show everything. Header, which is the, the category that we associated with our 50-50 header title. And we'd also go through and search for the template. So if we wanted to, we could just put in 50, for example. And that'll go through and it'll search and find the only template we currently have on you. But but as your template library grows, you'll see this is a great way of then going through and filtering only what you want. So what we need to do now to put that into our currently associated website is go through to the import option. So we can click on import. That'll go through importing. See, so it says, OK, that's done. And now shows us our new 50-50 header input straight into our template section of Elementor. And that's it. That's how easy it is to use WPTemplator.com to be able to store and load in any or all of your templates into any site you want simply by connecting it through the API with a simple free plugin. Now, this is something that, like I say, I think is definitely worth taking a look at. I think it's fantastic. It's completely free at this point in time, and hopefully it will stay free. And even if they do charge for it, I think it's something that if you are a power user of templates, this could be something that would be very, very useful. The nice thing is whenever it saves a template, it saves all aspects of your template. That includes the graphics, the text, colors, everything. So you can use those as a good basis for creating your designs and then just replace the elements that you want to in any website moving forward. So what do you think of this? Do you think you could see yourself using this? Is it a service you tried in the past? If you did, how did you find it worked for you? Is this something you continue to use or you just left for whatever reason? Let me know in the comment section below. I'd love to get your feedback on this and what you think of it. Now, speaking of the comment section, if you've got any comments on this video or anything you'd like to see covered in the future, please let me know in that comment section. And if you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, you can give it a thumbs down. That's perfectly fine. But let me know why you didn't like the video. Well, my name is Paul C. This has been WP Tuts, and until next time, take care.